hey guys uh, welcome back to my channel so in today's video we are creating this look so if you guys want to know how we did this look then continue watching till the end and let's get started i'm gonna start off with spraying her face with the smashbox photo finish uh spray just so her makeup can stay for a long time next i'm gonna use the luminous primer by dr brand and that's gonna be our primer base so I'm going to start off with Urban Decay Prime Eyeshadow Primer and that's going to be our base of course. Next up would be taking my Rouge palette, I'm going to take the shade Wamp and then that's going to be our transition shade that goes to the crease area. Taking this light purple shade from Carly Bible palette, I'm going to put that onto her lids. So I'm taking these two darkest shades from Carly Babel palette and here what I'm going to do is create a shadow liner and uh, I'm not going to use no liner, I'm just going to use a dark black shadow and uh, make a wing effect and then the next step will be I'm just going to take a glitter liner by Urban Decay and apply that to her lids and that's it. Here I'm taking a Makeup Revolution uh, cor Color Correct palette and I'm gonna apply that using my fingers because I feel like the, f the warmth of your finger helps blend the product better. So for her face, I'm using NARS and MAC Studio Sculpt. So I'm gonna slightly uh, uh, damp the foundation to her face because as you guys will see the next step, I will be correcting her face even more and I don't want her face to look like overly done like too much foundation here i'm taking the tarte shape tape concealer and i'm just gonna be applying it under her eyes and as i apply i keep blending just so it doesn't dry out even though this concealer does not dry out guys i still like it that way i like when i apply i need to blend immediately so to contour her face i'm using the gosh a liquid contour and uh, as you all know i like to contour a little above the jawline sorry the, i always say jawline a little above the cheekbone because it just enhances uh, the cheekbone better so even for the nose i'm gonna take this uh small precise brush and guys it was so easy to contour her nose it's such a pretty nose to be honest and i'm gonna take a beauty blender and start blending all of that into her skin once the blending is done i'll start to set her under eye her forehead her nose and all of that and I'm taking the Makeup Revolution uh, banana powder, luxury banana powder. And I'm gonna just tap the powder onto her face. For the brows, I'm taking the Max Factor brow pencil. First, I'm gonna brush her hair with the spoolie and uh, create, then create a fake hair through the brush, uh, to the pencil. And I like to start from the end and then take it towards the outer side. So for the lashes, we are using the Huda Beauty Lashes. For the highlighter, I'm taking the Burr Cosmetics Highlighter and I'm taking the lightest shade and applying that to the high points of her face. And um, yeah, she's feeling it so much. She loves it. For additional glow, I'm using the Laura Geller in the shade Gilded Honey. And this will just give you a wet, glowy, date night, I don't know, sexy look and so for the lips we're taking girlfriend by Huda beauty and i'm just gonna set her face set her lips set all of that using the smashbox photo finish spray and um, here's the look this is the final look guys yep. i just i can't stress enough how much i love it honestly <laughs> i do i've always had like a bronze look all the time like mm -hmm. browns with my eyeshadow yeah because i was too scared to play with colors yeah yeah and so i have something different for what? guys if you want any advice on makeup anything go to her and her instagram account is the real anzila i know it looks like i paid her to see all these good stuff but i didn't guys but yeah i hope you guys enjoyed this video and i will see you guys in the next one till then bye